easiest way to solve any projectiles question. So after failing to export a video, a user accidentally launches a book modeled as a particle from a window W at a speed of 12 meters per second at an angle of elevation of 30 degrees. Point W is 14 meters above a horizontal ground, which the book strikes at point A. Find R, the horizontal distance from W to A. So with projectile motion, we know that the horizontal motion and vertical motion are independent of each other. So we can do two separate columns of working. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find the horizontal distance. So let's do the horizontal working first. We know that there's no acceleration in the horizontal direction. So it's just a speed distance time calculation. Our distance is R meters. That's what we want. Our velocity, well, the initial velocity horizontally hasn't been given, but we can use trig to calculate it. So we have an angle of 30 degrees and a speed of 12 meters per second. This is the horizontal speed. So we can use trig and see that this speed is 12 cos 30 because it's adjacent. So this is 12 cos 30, which is equal to 6 root 3 meters per second. And the time, they haven't given us the time, so we need to calculate that too. Let's call that t seconds. We don't know what the time is, and we want to find the distance. Since you have vertical and horizontal motion, the time taken for each is the same because it's the same amount of time in air. So now let's do our vertical working. Vertically, you have gravity acting. So there's acceleration, which is why we're going to use SUVAT. So first, I'm going to choose my direction to be positive. Let's say upwards is positive. So my displacement is equal to negative 14 meters because now it's going down. Our initial velocity upwards, I can just use this trick. This is it. So that's 12 sine 30, which is equal to 6 meters per second. Our final velocity hasn't been given. Our acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared because it's always vertically downwards. And the time, well, the time is capital T because it's the same amount. So now I need an equation that has S, U, A, and T in it. Well, that's just S equals U, T plus half a t squared. So if I sub in my values, I have negative 14 equals 6 t minus 4.9 t squared. And if I solve for t, this quadratic, I get t is 2.41 and so on, or negative 1.1 so on. I can disregard this since time is not negative. So now I have my time and I have my velocity horizontally. My horizontal distance which is r, is equal to the velocity, which is 12 cos 30, times my time, which is 2.41, and that is 25.0 meters to three significant figures. And that is how you solve a projectile's question.